Diplomacy has to be varied and new aspects have to be included. Republic of Turkey, when it comes to crises on global aspect, with entrepreneurship and humanitarian efforts, has achieved successes that will be talked for years and has become a global achiever. With Antalya Diplomacy Forum, thoughts are not looked up for, but met and talked and contributed and included in a diplomatic victory summit. In terms of intermediary relations, Turkey has become a brand with more opportunities under its wing. Digital diplomacy in terms of global pandemic has accelerated and extended further. European Union strategic goals are in parallel to our renegotiations and re-emergence on the Asian countries and cultures with solid action plans. High-level strategic cooperation mechanisms increase and the latest addition with Colombia has been 28. Our trilateral and quadrilateral meetings have increased. Lastly, in June, in Baku, we accelerated Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan and Turkey format on the level of foreign affairs ministries. Azerbaijan and Uzbekistan last week has seen a trilateral meeting on terms of ministers of trade in the city of Tashkent. Our multilateral tools have been used effectively. UN to Islamic cooperation, NATO to AID, G20 chairmanship duty this year, and MIG and other Turkic nations organization on all multilateral platforms with entrepreneurship and affairs, we create a difference. Mr. President has said, world is bigger than five, and a fair world is an opportunity to achieve. It's not dogmatic, but entrepreneurship, humanitarian, not capitalized on human affairs, on field and on the conversations with a national, international politics, we are equal on trade and deal. Dear ambassadors and dear guests, as you can see, the results show themselves. This is Turkish politics. On world level, we've seen televisions broadcasted live. In Antalya and Istanbul, the intermediary relations and Ukrainian-Russian talks has visits are one such example for global food crises in terms of ukrainian grain istanbul meeting and memorandums implementation is one such result these show that our diplomacy has become global our policies has been confirmed one after the other. Negativities are prevented and positivities are cherished and multiplied. For example, cross-border operations against terrorism with diplomatic support. Syria and Iraq sovereignty relies on these operations. Our borders and beyond our borders, 4,000 kilometers have been purified and 15,000 average people have returned to their lands. If we had not done this, ISIS would exist, PKK, YPG and PYD would still reign in the regime. We don't even want to think about the worst case scenario. For example, Libya and the recognized state. Despite criticisms, we have supported the UN-backed diplomacy. If we had not done this, a geopolitical and a humanitarian crisis would go beyond the Libya. Our identification and policies confirmed themselves. On Mediterranean waters, Greece has done everything on behalf of themselves and have exploited law for our rights. It would born 
conflict if we had not taken precautions on the waters. We have shown that we are in this region. It is our waters too. Turkey and Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus have been excluded in energy trade, for example, and with research and drilling operations and with 2019 Libya agreement, we have included ourselves in our physical region. We have included ourselves in the waters. Now they look for new alternatives. We provide suggestions for dynamics and we have included TRNC in our plans. For example, in Karabakh, peace was almost abolished, but Turkey had supported the righteous and the secure. We questioned what is the right. We reminded them that cold wars can go hot, and heroic Azerbaijani army liberated their invaded lands after the struggle. And after that, with haste, we focused on regional peace and, as Azerbaijan said, liberated the invasion and the people in the region. And we also instructed Armenia to not provoke further. There are more examples we can count. And to people that think that Turkey can be excluded in regional activities, we reminded them again. We are now looking for new cooperation channels and work on the existing channels. We can stop negativity in geography and now we are rebuilding friendships globally. Turkey has no enemy nations. Turkey does not want other nations' lands. Turkey has the mentality and goal of world being fair to everyone. And if anyone thinks against this or opposes this, should question it. Dear guests, in the first century of our republic, our foreign affairs has relied on the heritage given by our founding father, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, peace at home, peace in the world. And this has existed ever since. Our foreign affairs and policies shall be carried to the future centuries, which will rely on peace in our region and throughout the world. Not just in our neighbors, but our tradition has also has been shaped by our history and the, ex and the experiences of our neighbors where people had relied on the Turkic aid for peace and prosperity. It is this stability that gave us the opportunity, had it not. With the leadership of our president now, our humanitarian effort now focuses on both regional and global peace and peaceful cooperation movements. In 21st century, permanent peace can be established with diplomacy with two prominent features. First is the intertwined and deep-rooted problems resolution with creative thinking and providing solutions. Second is to provide solutions and evaluated on morals and grounds and always choose the good and the willful option. With this mentality, our ambassadors conference this year, hopefully beyond 2023 and beyond, will be themed around the Turkish style of diplomacy. Because the world is going through much trouble. The world is restless. It is unbalanced. Globalism has been called as the peaceful resolution, but now it is boiling the waters. People are hindered in development. People are blocked. And the global systems of economy and the geopolitics of it are in hindrance. Energy security has become a topic again. Clean energy and renewable energy resources 
will be the fundamental data of these new calculations, but hydrocarbon economy will bring its own share of problems. World is heading towards a stagnation on global scale. Because of the pandemic, supply chains have broken and the climate change negativity has resulted in a food crisis and the Ukrainian war has shown that food security has become a global threat. Wars cannot be forgotten, and expansionism and nuclear threats have re-emerged on European diaspora, and a new restructured European security has become a topic of talk. Big powers are clashing one another. Climate change, energy and economic systems change, power transfers and rivalry and international organizations, stakes and power are many of the causes. Dear guests, my colleagues at work, as 59 years of French Revolution was in put in text, it was listed as Industrial Age and First World War, and in 40 years, European empires had collapsed. And the short but destructive 21st century that ended with the Cold War was the expression. And the 30 years of un identified era has come with many shocks. We can even describe it as a decades of stagnation and people are blinded. The world is blinded against shocks and sustainability as it became a core function for living. It is a great change for countries, but for us it is the same old story uttered once again, because post-Cold War, the intermediary era had seen peace come to many nations, and peace had added value to their existing economies. Turkey could not, however, it could not take advantage. In fact, wars had carried on beyond our borders, in our neighbors, ever since. Ukraine, Iraq, Gulf, Balkans, Syria, Middle East, we've always been in the middle of a ring of fire. Afghanistan, Yemen, Syria, Ukraine, Turkey are all in this region. PKK, PYD, YPG and ISIS have all emerged from this chaos. In 1990s and since then, the conflicts around Turkey always had dug trenches and we had to improvise for security. Turkey has to be active and our neighbors and friends by choice have criticized. Turkey is more active than ever and Turkey is now asking to be less criticized. Turkey welcomes our friends' contributions. Ukrainian crisis hopefully shows that Turkey is something to be cherished. Turkey is a country that you want in times of crisis. Flow of history has shown that Turks are always the reliable bunch. In European Union and expanded Europe, peace, prosperity and stability, security and protection, Turkey is a natural assistant. In foreign affairs, we achieved by ourselves and with European Union, this would have been a footnote in history and Turkey would be a globally cherished nation. Let us accept this fact first and foremost. European politics and geopolitics formula and its arrangements fundamentally rely on partnership, customs unions and European Union memberships, which had been predetermined and confirmed. And our membership had been tainted and we shall not accept this. In related policies, we also require clearances and legislative 
assistance. At the same time, we see Europe that is not restricted to European Union with a comprehensive, honest and concrete mechanism of cooperation and its necessi necessity has become more apparent than ever. Europe is talking Europe again. Its security structure, its interactions with shares and regions, we are heading towards an era of questions. We want that strategic evaluation's importance to be recognized by everyone. Turkey is still determined to be a member of the EU with dialogue and cooperation with constructive and creative policies. Our EU membership procedures with reforms, cohesion and fiscal cohesion we continue to work with determination. A member state and a NATO nation, Turkey, is seen as hostile by some members of the European Union who just bear ill will for some reason, an individual reason. And we wish to see concrete steps taken once again for our membership. We want to prevent the bad use of veto votes. Turkey-EU relations shall not be tainted by some individual gains of some Europeans. With similar decisions and policies, we have deep-rooted relationship with the European parliaments too. In the future, our ambassadors on the European continent will explain that Turkey is one-of-a-kind European and with a new refurbished focus will work once again. In politics and in thinking cliques of Europe, we explain what they had known already, but again, to reiterate and to update. We will contribute more to European affairs. Turkey is Europe and Europe needs Turkey. Europe shall not be fit into mold by some and on creative, constructive platforms with gains and experiences we shall discuss. We will approach Europe as a wholesome matter from economy, energy, climate, digitalization, education, innovation, politics and security with the largest vision in a wholesome comprehensive vision. I wish to underline that our collaboration will be beneficial. After the procedures of Yugoslavia, war is at European soil again. It is this war that made Europe, Europeans get recognized in terms of war, migration, energy, climate, are many crises that Europe is now affected to. Security is like a breath. You realize its importance when you lose it. European security will need Turkey. Turkey, as a part of European continent, has a responsibility to provide this security. Turkey is Europe. So, as a European power, in these desperate times, we focus on the co continent of troubles. Europe, continent needs this. Again, with a new strategic vision, we consider Turkey as the intermediary between all the continents. And on the action plans of Asia, we will touch upon later, on Europe and other geographies, we will discuss things in detail. Similarly, with a 360-degree approach, we will focus on global sustainability, development and peace as our slogan, our modus operandi. Dear colleagues, our membership's 70-year anniversary has been celebrated. We have worked in NATO, for NATO, with a Madrid summit in recent times as an important concept. We've seen that European strategics 
and its logistics are lacking, but covered still. In Madrid, with a new approach of security, we have leaped over bounds with a new legislation. With Sweden and Finland active in membership dealings, we make those two respective nations admit their responsibilities in fight against global terrorism. It is simply to say, I'm instructing these two, but you all should take lessons from it. And we will follow upon the instructions given. Terrorists are in our borders and in your borders too. Terrorists and terrorism gain support with this perk. PYD, PKK, YPG, FETO in terms of terrorism. And in terms of fighting against terrorism, we are determined. We all welcome nations to support us in fight against terrorism. It is simply put, our red line and the world community will hopefully understand this. Dear ambassadors and guests, I've said we're in times of questions. The conflict of Russians and Ukrainians have emerged new crisis which should be resolved. Turkey, with two neighbors in the Black Sea, has felt the impacts of war deeply. Our goal is to have a permanent ceasefire where Ukrainian sovereignty and independence is secured with a fair policy. With this, from the day one onwards, we improvised our policies and politics. To Ukraine, to humanitarian aid effort, we have shown serious support. The negotiations between Ukraine and U Russia with the leadership of our president, we have taken an active role as a platform. We described the attack as war and implemented the Montreux and Article 19. In times of sensitivities, this restricted warships travel through the Bosphorus and into the Black Sea. We de-escalated Black Sea tensions with the Russian and Ukrainian intermediary role on Antalya and Istanbul. We held summits for food crises. We cooperated with UN to bear fruit on our efforts for peace. Let's not forget one fact of truth. Black Sea is all of our seas. These wars will end one day, but as shoreline nations, security, economy, trade and culture will have mutual goals for all of us, which shall be protected. The comprehensive organization of Black Sea, the Black Sea Economic Cooperation, which celebrates its 30th year anniversary, shall not be a victim to this war. Dear guests, European security has to face the new threats that are on the horizon. On the long term, for permanent peace and achieved peace, we need to think in cold blood, all on data and strategies. Turkey is ready. Turkey is preparing and stockpiling diplomacy and peaceful solutions and opportunities to Balkans, to Caucasia, to Mediterranean, to Black Sea, all have been shaped around this view. In Caucasia, the good neighborly relations are made in honest will. In Azerbaijan, their victory has provided a climate that can be born fruit for permanent peace in the region. With Armenia, we have assigned ambassadors to hold dialogue. Azerbaijan and Armenia shall be the lead in these discussions and we, by our goals, regional cooperation also contribute. Regional tensions show that what existed was fragile to begin with. Of course, our cooperation with Azerbaijan strengthened. Friends are foe. Let it be known that Azerbaijan shall never be alone.
In the Middle East, dynamics have changed and regional countries have cooperated further. Israel, UAE, Saudi Arabia and our relations with them have been developing in a positive manner for an emergence of a new era. We got to work. We want to achieve the same with Egypt. Of course, Palestinian cause is still being supported. Israel attacks on the Gaza Strip on Friday and the fanatic Jews that support Israel shall not be accepted or welcomed. Innocents and Ali Abdullah and similar children, girls of five years old, cannot be tolerated. Israel and Israeli hostility is condemned and these provocative movements hopefully shall end soon. Last night a ceasefire was announced which is a good step that has been taken. We want this to be permanent and hopefully such attacks will never be repeated. Our dialogue, dialogue towards Israel is a channel for our Palestinian dialogue. In the Balkans, protecting peace, especially reliant on peace and stability, of course, relies on our priorities and sensitivities. In Bosnia, Herzegovina, Serbia and Kosovo, existing crises emerge again. Again, Ukrainian conflict has unbalanced the region and the Balkan threat and our strong mechanisms have re-emerged as active again. We have visited five Balkan nations. Our president also shall visit in Balkan nations in a Balkan tour for our role and confirmation. In Mediterranean and Asian waters, we also want to achieve the same. Our national causes belly, TRNC, is apparent. The people of Cyprus and their equality on their land shall be confirmed on the international platform. We, or them, in the Cyprus island cannot waste 50 more years. The negotiations shall be held between two nations. The resources of Cyprus shall be split evenly. TRNC since 2011 has been giving ideas and opinions and conflicts. On July, they went to UN for a new mechanism implementation. Half of the problems on the Mediterranean waters rely on this one file and the conference and the TRNC cooperation plan have all been explained and will be explained to the international community. Our Mediterranean policies rely on equal rights. Greeks and their threats have been emerging. Nine warships have been sent in the recent few months. We prevented crises to emerge. Our ship, Abdul Amit Han drill ship, will hopefully will be taking the waters tomorrow. On East Mediterranean waters, we base our actions on the international law and rules. On Asian waters, interconnected problems shall be implemented and evaluated comprehensively based on international law and rules. However, Greece has no determination to take this path. It is simply their habit. They attack and violate international law and arm the islands that are supposed to be neutral. And we have explained our worries to UN and our belligerents. This topic is a sensitivity towards our topic. Crisis in Syria has been in relation to the sovereignty and independence of our country too, and the Astana procedures and similar procedures have also been impacted. Our security forces in northern Syria cooperate with National Syrian Army 
to provide security to existing citizens there and provide them a UN level return and re-emergence of stability. But PKK, PYD, YPGN and their extensions in this climate want to push towards to attack and attack Syrians in our country. Millions of Syrians are under threat in our borders and against these attacks cannot be sit idly by. Our neighbor, Iraq, has also had developments. Stability, peaceful, calm, sovereign, independent, and we want to see Iraq with these adjectives and our relations with Iraq prioritize this fact. We want to see to PKK's terrorist group announcement and clearance from Iraqi side. Our expectations shall be realized and up until that point we will take our methods and our precautions. On the Asian continent we have centuries long of cultural, historical bonds. In 2019, I've evaluated and said that our Asian ties shall be upgraded and further expanded. Our entrepreneurship, based on regional sensitivities and developments, have been balanced and developed in a comprehensive manner. For mid to long term, we have about thousand action plans in place for Asian nations for mutual benefaction of both sides implementation of a cooperation a business plan has been realized we held Asian sectoral dialogue and we were previously in Cambodia then we later visited Malaysia in Asian countries there is a great interest in Turkish cooperation Hopefully, by towards the end of the year, our new Asian policy will be declared in a visionary with long-term goals clearly stated. Last year, in Afghanistan, in the heart of Asia, a new era had begun and we held dialogue with Taliban, without recognition, mind you. And in terms of women's rights and education of girls, we instructed Taliban about what is being expected. Afghan people have not been abandoned in these troublesome times. In Kabul, our ambassadorship had continued to work. We were the only to NATO nation to do so. Kızılay, Tika and others also worked on the field. Our schools are open. Right now, 44 schools are open in Afghanistan, 12 of them exclusively for girls. Regardless of Afghanistan's developments, friendship between Turkey and Afghanistan will continue to exist. Of course, Africa and prejudice of seeing Africa as a poor continent, we consider Africa as Africans do. The continent has the greatest potential and realizing this potential has to be started with Turk-African equal rights and approach. 40 time, times 40 our expansion have grown and 38 ambassadors in Africa continent show that we are going towards. 16 leaders of those countries and 100 ministers have attended to the Turkish-African cooperation summit and decisions taken have carried our ideas and plans onward. Of course, our expansion to Latin America have also borne fruit. Our trade has multiplied 15 times. On April, on my regional tour, we've seen that Turkey in global rise have become an active role player in crisis resolution and crisis management. I witnessed this one by myself. This shall not be abandoned ever. In San Salvador ambassadorship, in our presence in South America have expanded. Our ambassadors in 20 years have risen to 19. 18 ambassadors 
and we also have the greatest in Sao Paulo totaling in 19. Our NATO ally USA, not just on bilateral level but also in regional and global terms, have held constructive dialogue for the longest time. However, PKK, YPD, YPG, FETO and one-sided sanctions sadly have not given a appropriate response from the U.S. side. This discrepancy and the potential shall be evaluated comprehensively with a Turkish-USA, Turkish-American strategic mechanism. First meeting was held in Ankara and on ministerial level we've held talks with Mr. Blinken on USA. In 2021, despite the pandemic, our partnerships and trade have broken records, which has shown that power for positive movement is here. Our expectations towards U.S. shall be, hopefully, shall be met with U.S. concrete steps. Ladies, gentlemen, guests, colleagues and partners, diplomacy in 21st century is not something that is just restricted to politics or military. On multilateral and multilayered aspect, we provide our efforts towards humanitarianism, health and culture and mutual support. And we call this parliamentary diplomacy. And parliamentary diplomacy as Minister of Foreign Affairs, I wish to say we have greatly benefited from it and our embassies and to all of our people and deputies, to vice ministers and political representatives being here has given us support and strength and I wish to thank them for being here. Paris Agreement has been agreed upon and towards climate change we have shown our sentiments and dedication. Our culture and history on these lands have existed for centuries and on global level recognition we cooperate with organizations for marketing and advertisement. Our latest step was a global trend, the gastro diplomacy and our works conducted. First Lady has worked in collaboration with Ministry of Culture on the Turkish Cuisine of Centuries and declared Turkish Cuisine Week, which is May 21st to 25th, with delegates and ambassadors taking active part. We have introduced and advertised our country in additional means. For many years, we have recognized the name of Turkey on the international scale and made it known so on the global scale and on global markets. Dear ambassadors, our activities cherish and vary, but our stance is clear. We serve citizens, people, the rights. I say with great joy, ambassadorship and uh, activities in ambassadorship with 74 services, foreign citizens are not abandoned with most level of support shown. We are a leading country in these matters in serving our citizens. We add new more things. Visual services for deaf citizens shall be activated today. Consulate call center, immediate contact centers will be upgraded and with the minister's capabilities, AI app Hizr shall be given to people today. Our consulate services quality and speed will be increased with these new implementations as will come more and more in the future. Our foreign citizens health services is our priority. Our citizens in crisis regions hopefully extracted is one such example of this view. Our citizens, regardless of country, will be brought back with helicopters. Over 5,000 citizens have been returned to our country for health. 
Tens of thousands of citizens during the pandemic and infection era have been brought back to our country and we implement our solutions to other crises. In Kazakhstan, Somalia, in Libya, over 20,000 citizens have been brought back as along with other nation citizens have been brought to our country and to their respective nations after Afghanistan, Ukraine was the latest exam. Conflicts continue and missiles are still being fired and rescuing our citizens was a logistical challenge and required diplomacy in traffic. It had become operations that are worth to write scripts over. We have extracted many citizens. We have not abandoned others either. Our fellow men and 12,000 of Turkic people have been extracted and moved out of border. Ahaskan Turks and Crimean Tatar Turks have also been extracted. In harsh conditions, we work day and night, and it's thanks to their efforts they have been rescued. Our securities shall not be other cause, but our missions and extractions have been working. Jihad Araginay of Kabul and Yamur Gülder of Kiev, uh, ambassadors of those respective nations, and to their personnel, I thank them for their hard work. Dear colleagues, Ambassador's Conference this year has seen a rich presence and with many topics. This aspect has excited all of us, which is a re-evaluation of 2023 vision. Our centennial anniversary, 2023, hopefully in our glorious history will be a good milestone. Our president has set goals and for the longest time we have been preparing. And of course at the same time our existence foundation has been founded 500 years ago. Our existence, our organizations, past, present and future is the memory that is the light the guiding light. Our reflexes have all been shaped with this historical cultivation of knowledge. This one-of-a-kind heritage and knowledge shows that Turkish diplomacy on a global scale has been respected with many capabilities on its belt. The first century of our republic has been cherished in times where the world was going through rapid paces. Fluidity in foreign affairs relies on observation, evaluation and knowledge basis. Educated, experienced and dedicated teams are the milestone, the foundation rock. And as I always say to Turkish diplomats, I reiterate this once again, that we are, have the most educated, experienced and determined diplomats and I'm proud of people. This human resource and 255 representatives across the world, we have the fifth biggest diplomatic network on UN level. From Hungarian to Jewish, Korean, Japanese, Finnish to Bosnian, and many other UN languages are included. Our local language capacity hopefully shall be increased with additional work in the future. Strategic precondition and pre-recognition and our steps towards realizing and taking precautions continue. National knowledge has become the global recognition, taking right steps and explaining the steps in correct manner matter equally. Our diplomatic work and our social media, which is an important tool, is prioritized. We have a Turkish Twitter account and in terms of foreign affairs Twitter accounts, 
globally in fifth and on a European scale is the first place. On worldwide recognition, I have been told that on that I'm the fourth most followed Twitter user and third most followed on Instagram and Facebook when it comes to foreign affairs of nations, which shows that global recognition and utilization, utilization of social media is done in a better way. Our national agency focuses on 61 million citizens in foreign lands and provide them internship, work, knowledge and experience. More than 20,000 citizens that are not in EU regions also benefit from this. Turkish accreditation, Turkak, focus on quality level settlement and evaluation and also focus on technical support on friendly neighbors and back up our international trade. Across the world, our soft power is supported by these organizations and their cooperation, which is our greatest support. Turkish Airlines, Kızılay, Afad, Yunus Emre and our foundations focus and realize projects that are seemed impossible but as an everyday chore. International Turks and family bonds and with Turkish internship and scholarships, international students are welcomed in Turkey and Turkey has become that one of the top 10 nations to do so. Marif on different geographies have opened schools, given hope as a beacon of light of knowledge. Turkish soft power is spread across the world and I thank those organizations. Internationally, we could not use buildings in the past, but Marif and Yunus Emre have given those buildings, have been given those buildings. Dear colleagues, guests, Turkish diplomacy has a history. This history, as with Turkish history, is lively and wonderful. Our culture and cultivation of politics have emerged to this day. Turkish diplomacy hopefully shall be advertised to the global scale on a better method, as we have said so with a documentary last year. We have been preparing for this documentary with TRT since last year. In 2019, we have buried the seeds of Antalya Diplomacy Forum. In such a short time, its global recognition for both our ministry and our nation was a surprise of admiration. In 2021 and last year, March, have seen two forums established on an international diplomacy calendars have become a predetermined date. Our organization has shown great effort. Forum, recognition on international scale, its marketing and advertising, our organizations have greatly contributed to these aid facts. One of every three ministers of foreign affairs have attended to Antalya forums. This is a success, has become a value for an apparent reason. Forum has seen a gap and filled it. Brand of Turkey beyond politics and economy in north, south, west and east has become an impactful name. Towards future, we have set goals with comprehensive and cultivation of knowledge. We continue to grow and expand and have much more impact in diplomacy and with an appropriate infrastructure, we set the work. In September last year, our president have has opened Türk Evi in the capital of diplomacy, New York for a new silhouette. Dakar, Sao Paulo, across the world, our representatives have been given modern furnishings. Our efforts shall continue. Republic of Turkey and ambassadors, my colleagues at work, ladder of career has made you grow, know 
and love. This people, this government has been your trial throughout your career. Political tensions, conflicts, outbreaks and natural causes have disturbed you. Many hardships, many problems and sacrifices in your families. Your colleagues have lost their lives even as our ministry. We have 41 martyrs. We honored those martyrs. We offer our condolences as Turkish diplomats. You have not given up, rested, or gave up. You have entered to the harsh climate of international diplomacy and have not yielded. Today, across the world, we light the torch of Turkic people and have become a beacon of hope and knowledge. Ministry of Foreign Affairs with a past, present and future, hopefully branches reaching out across the world to provide shade in these troublesome times. We shall nurture this with our union, peace for prosperity, not just for our nation, we will move towards to the future. I'm proud of all of you. May our 13th conference of ambassadors be successful and to all of our guests, I am grateful for your presence. I wish to salute you all.